the bell you gave me the fright of my life. Are you all right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get you another. Well, I'd appreciate it. That was my hot date for tonight. Peace and quiet and a cold glass of wine sounds perfect. I'll bring one up from the bar. You don't fancy any company, do you? Well, yeah, but I don't want to impose. Well, you wouldn't be imposing. I'd enjoy it. Besides, an evening with Holly would be an eye-opener for Nick. Well, that'd be great. If it's lunch, you want you too late. Actually, I'm after cake. Oh, we don't do cake. Oh, I thought they... No, we're sort of more in the line of puddings. You fancying an evening of comfort eating? Yes. I could fix you up with some sticky toffee pudding. Oh, I'm tempted to join you. Actually, Isabel's coming over. I'm not sure that... Well, that wouldn't be a problem with me. I think it's about time Isabel and I tried to patch things up. Well, if you'd rather I didn't. Oh, no, don't be silly. That'd be lovely. I brought a drop of the hard stuff. You didn't have to. I think with an accent like mine, I'd be without whiskey. <laughs> Can I use your loo? No problem. Had to bring Holly, but Nick's someone of his disappearing acts. Okay. Can I put her in the bedroom? It'll be quieter for her sure. in there. I'm really looking forward to this evening. We haven't had a proper chance to chat since Holly was born. There always seems to be a Kemp in the way. If it isn't Nick, it's Liz. Got a lot of time for Liz, but sometimes she really does. Sometimes I what? Finish your sentence. What's she doing here? Liz thought this would be an ideal opportunity for the two of you to make up. Make up? I should have known better. Liz, please wait. Don't go. You can't go like this. Mary, it's useless. You heard what she said. I'm not spending an evening with that stuck-up middle-class cow. Come on, if you leave now, then this feud of yours will just go on for another six months. It's pointless. I feel as if it's my fault for letting you go. Oh, rubbish. It's got nothing to do with you. It's my flat. She didn't know you were here. I didn't have time to warn her. <sighs> well, OK. But I'm going to need some serious lubrication. Me too. Here. Thanks. You're welcome. <clears throat> you all right? Yes. Good. This is fun. It's not just your, my idea. Come here, my favourite. No, it wouldn't be here if I, I had told you. Yeah, but I saw... Told you? No party. But you had to invite us along. Boys, you are extremely welcome. Would have brought something, but no booze in the flat. Sorry. You'd understand. Evening, girls. The party is here. Well, yes. Good. Just check in. Apology accepted. Nice. Oh, I'm so glad you guys turned up. Did you have a nice time in India? Very relaxing. I should have burnt my dad years ago. Nina! I meant, did everything go okay? Yeah. So, which one of you foxy ladies would like a dance? Uh, why, well, actually... There is a girl. <laughs> There's something which has been on my mind for some time. Mm -hmm. Something I've been aching to discuss with you. Yes? 
your outstanding bill. Oh. You want to have it a bit short, don't we? Hello? Tim, where are you? I've just got home, actually. It's surprising how empty your flat feels when you've been away for a while. You've only been gone a week. Sounds like you're having a party. Oh, Isabel and Liz popped over for a drink. It seems to have snowballed. If you're not too tired, why don't you come over? Yes, well, maybe I could. Listen, Tim, I'm going to have to go. There's someone at the door. Um, if you're not up to it, don't worry. I'll see you in the morning. I didn't know you were having a party. Nor did I. Who's mum there? Hi, Mary. Short notice, so I could only find a bottle of Aunt's special vodka. It's very cold. Will that do? Ooh. This is for you. <laughs> Where's Holly? Sorry? Where's the baby? What do you think you're doing? Nick, why don't you have a drink and join the party? Hang on. You're the man who promised to be back by 7.30 to babysit. The time's now... Good grief, it's 11 o'clock. Where's the baby? I thought she was with you, Nick. Where do you think she is? She's here, fast asleep in the bedroom. Couldn't you have waited? Well, for hell to freeze over. How the hell am I supposed to know what time you'll be home? Haven't you heard of a telephone, Nick? I need to know where you are. You can't just keep going AWOL. You've got a family to think of now. Isabel, I really don't think this is the time and place to discuss this. I'd better go. I uh, think we'd better be going as well. Thanks for the treat, Mary. Sorry. No way. Where I come from, all the best parties end with a good fight. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow. I'm sorry about the scene. Oh, just go. For goodness sake, make out with him. What was all that about? Who knows? Families are funny things. I really do love you. You better get Sam home. <laughs> uh, I think the best place for all of us is bed right now. I'll clear up in the morning. You really? Mm. Thank you. <coughs> See you tomorrow. You can see you're a bit too late. Yes, but the night's still young. That's what I thought, but emotional scenes got a way of clearing a place. Oh, I see, a fight. Not over you, I hope. <sighs> one spilled drink's hardly a fight. Red wine, why does no one ever spill mineral water? You'll wash it in with hot water. Let me. You got any salt? Salt. Soaks up the wine. Oh, in the cupboard. See, I do have my uses. Where's my manners? Sorry. I should get you a drink. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Steady oh. there. I've got some beer left. No, I'm fine. I think I should make us some coffee, don't you? I feel like I should be doing something. This brings back memories. What? Me being drunk? <laughs> Holding you in my arms. I'm sorry. What for? For being drunk. Mary, <laughs> you don't ever have to say you're sorry to me. You are a very kind man, Tim. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. 
not a good idea. No. I think you're ready for bed, don't you? Yeah. I think I'll have a wee lie down till the room starts spinning. Oh. Oh. You're so beautiful, Mary. <laughs> you sure it's not you that's been drinking? <laughs> I'm stone cold sober. I mean every word that I say. You always said the gift of the gap. <laughs> just go to sleep. You'll feel better in the morning. Relax, girl. Question. 